Well, hello. This is Harry Briley, and I am showing off this morning the Sunstrand calculator that belongs to the Livermore Heritage Guild. Uh, this uh, calculator was, in essence, the um, top-end uh, personal computer. This uh, subtract key right here came out in 1923, and that's how I'm able to uh, date it. Now, this particular machine might be newer, but the... Uh, uh, the subtract key guarantees that it's of the model type that was started in 1923. I got the privilege of repairing this machine and I want to show off how it worked. So let's start out. This standard nine digit over zero keypad was new and all your cell phones and all your personal computers now follow this same uh, nine digit over zero keypad. Uh, but at the time it was remarkable and I'm going to put in uh, today's year. I'm just going to uh, do a simple calculation. And so I pull this forward. And I've put in the year 2013. I'm going to subtract my age. Uh, I guess this tells you how old I am. And you push down this subtract key until it latches. And it'll produce the number with a minus sign following it. And then if I wish to uh, get a total, and there it is. So it says, uh, that's my birth date. No, it isn't, because I needed to uh, uh, clear it. So to clear the machine first, which I should have done before this video, is push down the total button and pull the lever, and you'll get a, a little red uh, square that tell you it's starting. So I'm going to start all over again. So 2013 and I'm going to subtract my age and when it's latched there with the minus sign and it appears. And so now I'm just going to do a subtotal and there's my birth year. Very good. So I'm going to add um, oh, 50 cents and there's a, an implied two decimal points, so if I want $50, it would be 5000. Zero, zero, zero. And now if I wish to uh, do another subtotal, there it is. And if I want to do a grand total, I press this total button, and I now have a grand total. Here is this latch key that comes down, and it's a repeat key. So let's say I wanted to um, buy a whole uh, hassle of uh, liter sodas at 98 cents. So I've just purchased a whole bunch of sodas for that price. Uh, to release this, you just flick it back, and there it is, up. And let's say I want to buy something for $2.50, and I realize, whoops, I've gone too far. I can just flick this lever and it sets the, uh, the the meter back. Or if I went ahead and put it in and I thought, oh, I don't really want to add it, I can push this non-add button and it will display uh, the number up here where the mark says it doesn't get included in the subtotal. So what I really meant was put in 25 cents. There we go. And now I can run the total. And there's my total. And to prove that it's cleared, I'll hold down the, this button again. There we go. And I will just get a, a red mark. Well, pretty simple. That's all there is about a calculator. But at the time, uh, this was considered a portable calculator. As heavy as it is, it's cast iron. Uh, you could pick it up and carry it out to any place where uh, the activity was going on and you were wanting to do uh, tallies of weights or lumber or without electricity. So this was pretty novel. Can't quite put it on your belt or in your shirt pocket, but at the time, this was one amazing machine.